UTSB. All right, guys, we're up at the front of Jennifer's car here, and we are going to go ahead and uh, take the bottom screws off so we can put the uh, front splitter on, okay? So on, on the cars, they have three, three screws right up here, one, two, and three. So we're going to take those out. Now, on the splitter itself, you're going to see that there's another, uh, another spot for another screw right here that doesn't exist from the factory. We'll be just putting a, uh, a, a screw into it to make it nice and tight. So this is actually a very simple installation. We're just gonna take all, all these screws out. And so let's go ahead and take those loose. Now all of these screws right here along the front, you don't have to take off. Okay, it's just the ones right there on each side. All right, so now we got our screws out. Now I've already gone ahead and I've wiped all this down and got everything clean. So if you haven't already, go ahead and take some alcohol, take some cleaner of some sort and clean the bottom of this because what we're gonna do here is, as you know, I usually do this in the videos all the time that you see me putting the tape on. I didn't do that this time. I went ahead and put it on ahead of time. But you can see here that I put the two-sided stick tape here along this edge. Now, if you notice, I'm not having anything along here because actually there's, this is actually covering this black right here, okay? And the, the fabric of the carbon fiber isn't gonna let any of that tape adhere, so I didn't put any on. What I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the tape off. It's right here. There we go. All right, so now we've got this. So now all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna literally set this up on this lip. Now, I'm gonna keep it like that, and then I'm just gonna go underneath here holding it, making sure I don't drop it. And we're just gonna line one of these screw holes up with the factory screw. There's that one. All right. And then, at that point, we can kind of maneuver this around. Now we've got this little, little rubber here. Just gonna pull, pull that down like so, right? So we can still utilize that. We'll put that up there, put that through the hole, and then that should go right on up there. Okay, let me grab my, grab my screw gun here. side over here and do the exact same thing over here okay pull this rubber down just like that Screw right in here. There we go. And then we've got one more right here. All right. And guys, literally, that is pretty much it. The only thing that we've got We've got one more screw on each side. 
The last thing we have to do, we've got two screws um, that were not in the factory screws. So they're already pre-drilled in, in the uh, splitter. So we're just gonna use some, some, uh, some black screws here. It just is gonna tighten that up. We're gonna do that on both sides. They're just tapered, tapered screws. If I can see that here, there we go. We'll go right up there like that. And we're done with the front splitter. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the side skirts next. Hey everybody, this is Scott from the Corvette channel. How many of you Corvette owners already have these battery operated puddle lights right here or wanted to be able to get puddle lights that would work and go on and off with the, with the car door and be totally powered by the car and not have the batteries go dead on you from time to time. It's always a pain in the butt. Not to mention, take a look at this, these are ugly as sin being stuck on there like that, right? So we actually have uh, the new uh, puddle lights that actually get drilled into the bottom of the door and they are powered by the car itself and they go on and off and so you don't ever have to worry about it. Not to mention that the cylinder on them are much bigger and so they project a much clearer, beautiful image on the ground. So um, if you guys are in need or want a set of those, reach out to me. I'm gonna put that information here on the screen and we'll be able to get you going. So you, you can take a look here on what they look like. Uh, they just look awesome. So like I said, if you need them, then just reach out to us and we'll be able to help you out. Okay guys, well we're on the side of the car now um, and I've already gone ahead and put the two side stick tape. Now the two side stick tape is included in this kit. Okay, so I've already put it on, I already got started. I'm cheating a little bit here, guys. We're gonna take this off. Now, if you see here, Jennifer probably can get her, the camera up over here. I had to go in between each one of these. So this means I get, to, I get to pull the tape off of all these individual ones. I don't get to just pull it once, which kind of sucks. Okay, so we're gonna do that all the way down. See if we can get that one going. All right. And as I'm doing this, you guys can kind of see what we got going on here. If you've watched any of my other videos, this isn't much different than putting them on the C7. Um, just the screw placement's just a little bit, in a little bit different location. One cool thing that you don't have to worry about on the CTS is that you don't have to worry about the coolant lines running through the rockers. So, as you guys know, on the C7, you drill in there too, too deep, you're gonna get a coolant line. On these, you won't have to worry about it, so you can just go ahead and screw it together. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set these up here where, the, where it goes, okay? And get that down there like that. Okay. Get this, get it up there and started. And then at that point, we'll start putting the screws in. Okay, that's one. All right. And then at that point, we're gonna go come down here to the end All right, so now we can go ahead and get all of our screws put in place. That, I think we got another one right here. Like that. And that one right down here at the bottom. Okay, and then at that point, we are good. Okay, so all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna move over to the other side and we'll be done with the side skirts. All right guys, we are on the opposite side now, we're on the passenger side, so I'm taking the tape loose. If I can get that one off. All right, so there we go. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this up there. And 
I'm just going to hold it, stick it. Now I'm going to keep holding it just like this because I don't, if you have, if you have a, an extra person, extra hand to hold it for you, it works out really, really great. Um, if you're doing it by yourself, just, just hold on to it. Once you get, once you get one of them started, you're pretty much good to go. But you don't want it to move on you. So we're gonna go one right here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, which I did it before, so I'm just gonna take a look at it, make sure that everything's lining up still, which it is. Yeah, this will this will move in. This will move in over here. This is gonna go right there like that. See, it goes right underneath that little piece of plastic. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. Get one down over here, maybe. Let's go ahead and do this one right here. Guys, I put a lot of these skirts on. You see me do them all the time. This is actually, so far, um, <laughs> this is much easier than the C7. So, um, so if you've got a CTS also sitting at home, I wouldn't even be, if you've already done a C7, you won't have any problem doing these, that's for sure. Looks like we got it. Make sure. Yep, we're good. All right, guys. So that is all there is to putting a front uh, front splitter on, as well as the side skirts. Okay. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lower the car back down, get it off the lift, and we'll start doing the uh, the front or the, I should say the the trunk spoiler. Okay. like a little race car. All right. All right, guys, we are at the trunk now. And so what we're gonna do is we've gotta take this liner loose to be able to get up inside there to be able to take the top top end of the trunk apart. So what we're gonna do here, there's a little little cover down inside here and there's just a little, uh, little uh, latch here so you can pull this open with a screwdriver. And we can open this up. That reveals a it's a seven millimeter um, screw. Just gonna take that little guy out. Okay, Get that out of the way. And we can pull this out. Okay, and then at that point, we're gonna use our nylon pry tool. And this little guy just pops off. It's like that. Okay, and then these here, these just actually just come right through. It's like that. Now there's some clips underneath here. You can use some, the, your nylon pry tool. Be able to get those loose. Okay. Go ahead and pull this one out. Pull these down too. So you can see the clip right there. See that little guy right there? In there? Okay. okay. So you're just gonna follow it all the way around, getting the clips loose. Another one right there. Just take your time. You don't want to break anything. There's another one right there, if you can see it. There we 
go just like that. So we should be getting free here. There's probably another one up inside here. We'll get to it in a minute. Should be one right here. There we go. Coming here on this other side. Just like that. Just like that. And that will allow us to get down in here. Should be another way it feels. Should be another clip up in here somewhere. And you guys can't see it, but it's right about right here. There we go. There's another one like right here. So we can probably get it from underneath here too. Get my fingers out of the way. There we go. And one more right about here. I can get it to, and I'm just taking it and twisting. Get your finger out of the way and don't use it as a pry tool. You'll be good. All right. At that point, this just opens up like this. It's already pre-split. And then we can get that out of the way. All right, guys, we're back here at the trunk. We've got everything opened up now, and we've got two eight millimeter screws, or I should say nuts that have to come off. One right here, and one right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull those off. Now, I'm gonna take this loose, and when I'm, when I'm done loosening it up completely, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop the trunk just a little bit. The reason behind that is that I don't want the screw or the, the nut itself to come off and fall down inside the trunk because I don't want to have to go take the trunk lid off and fish it out of the out of the center of the, the in between the, the uh, liner of the trunk itself. So we're going to take this one loose. Close it back down a little bit so I can get the screw out. I keep calling it a screw, I mean nut. All right, so now that we got that free, we also have one more right here and one right here. So it's a total of four. So this one you can actually get in behind here and so you can get it with your fingers. Just like that, get it out of the way. Same thing with this one, you can reach up in there. Okay. All right. All right, guys, once we've got those four screws out or four nuts off of the screws, we're gonna also have to go ahead and we have to press this little blue a uh, little plastic clip right here. We have to pinch it on both sides and lift up on the top piece at the same time and then we'll be able to get it to come off of the trunk. Okay, so we'll be able to lift that right out like so. Just like that. Okay, so now at this point we can go ahead and we can close the trunk back down. Okay, and we can see that Jennifer has not been washing her trunk. <laughs> so, I'm only teasing guys. So anyway, so once we get this here, we should be able to, um, we should be able to go ahead and disconnect the plug, which is right here. Let's take that, okay. All right, so now that we've got our third brake light off, it reveals a whole bunch of dust and dirt in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean this off. Get it all off there. Make it look all nice and pretty again. So now, what we've got to do, guys, is we actually have to drill a couple of holes in this particular kit 
did not come with a, uh, with a template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. We've got these two, uh, two brass screws here and we've got to put those, we're gonna have to drill some holes here and here to match up to our wing. All right, so there's, there's an old trick that you can do for this. I'm gonna kind of set this over here so it doesn't slide, hopefully. I'm gonna grab the wing here. And I'm gonna set this wing right here. Okay, now we've gotta drill a hole basically right in this area, right here, to screw into these screw holes, okay? So what I'm gonna do, since I'm working with a, a black, black plastic, it's easier to see with clear or white or something like that. If you were working with white, you could use some black grease, but I'm just gonna use dielectric grease here. And I'm gonna put it on a flat end that's about the size of what I need it to be. Just like that, see? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it right over the hole. It's like that. Try and keep it exactly where your hole is. The closer you get to the hole, the better off you're gonna be on exactly where you're get, getting it on there. Okay, so we're gonna put it right there. It's like that. Okay, and then we're done with our grease. Set that off to the side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our wing, or our third brake light, I should say, and we're gonna try to get this as centered as possible before we set it down. Okay, just like so. We're gonna press it down and then we're gonna pull it straight up. Okay, and you can see what it did. I left it. Left a little grease mark right there and right there. Okay. So now at that point, what we can do is we can go ahead and we can get ourselves a, uh, a drill bit. We'll drill through and then in that way we can go ahead and we can screw it down. We're also going to put some stick tape, which is, is included in the kit. We'll put some stick tape in here too to make sure that it adheres onto it. But that's, so that's our next step. All right, guys, we are about ready to go ahead and drill the holes into the top of this, uh, the spoiler here, the, the factory spoiler. Um, not gonna lie, I hate drilling holes into any of the cars. Uh, I've gotten pretty good at it, but it still gives me the EBGBs every time I do it. So I'm starting out with a very small hole, a little pilot hole, eighth inch, and this will try to, I'll try to get that where, get it right there. Okay, we'll drill through. Okay, and we'll do the same thing over here on this one. All right, so now, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go up to a bigger size drill bit. Now I went oversized, just a hair. I can still go a little bit if I need to, if I've just gotten this off just a little bit, it's not a big deal. Um, this screw is actually underneath. It's not ever going to be seen, but I try to get it as precise as I can. So we're going to go ahead and go there. Just like that. At that point you can wipe your, your grease off. I didn't tell Jennifer that we were drilling holes in her car today. So hopefully it all works out, right? Okay, so now let's see if this fits. So we're gonna test fit this first before I put the sticky tape on it. Looks good so far. And look at that. Didn't even rehearse that one, guys. This one actually fit perfect. Okay, so now that we know that we've got our screws that are gonna tighten down, 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this back loose. We're going to put on some sticky tape and then we'll be able to come back and we'll be able to screw this down. Okay. So, I'll just go here like so. Just like this. Now, I know you guys are going to give me a bad time about setting the parts on the car. I've actually got it sitting on the glass. I'm being very careful. Um, yes, I will get a, those of you that are wondering, I will get a, a uh, little workbench, a little rolling workbench. I just have not had the chance to do it yet. I've been trying to build the shop, get it ready to go, and we still have Terry's shop. So I haven't moved anything from his shop over to this one. So we are definitely um, having to start from scratch over here. So. All right, so this is going along okay. Like that. Come over here. Same thing over here. All right, guys, so now at this point, we can go ahead and we can take, take this, make sure that this is on nice and tight. At that point, we can go ahead and we can pull our tape loose. There's that's one. Okay. All right. Now that we got that, now we can go back into here, start our screws. So now that we've gone, we've got the, uh, the two sided stick tape on here, we started our screws. We just need to tighten them down, okay? So we're just gonna tighten this down. Don't get too crazy. It's not gonna come loose. Don't worry about that. Just gonna snug these up. Okay, just like that. And then at that point, we can go ahead and we can close our trunk or lower it down. Right? Close it down like that. Okay, and we'll fish, put our wire back through the hole. And then we can go ahead and we can put the spoiler back down like so. Okay, and at that point you wanna hold on to it because it very well could come loose. It probably isn't going to, but you just wanna hold on to it until you at least get, you can bring, bring your arm around here, until you at least get one screw uh, started. Okay, and you can just you can just start it with your fingers there. Okay, then at that point it's it's not going anywhere. Well, we can go ahead and we'll put another one on on the other side. Okay, so we'll put one right here. And at that point, we can let it go up and go ahead and put our bit in, get another nut, put it up here. We're just tightening these up now. Bat. Bat. that and we got one more just like that all right at that
that point, don't forget to plug in your third brake light. Plug that right back in, okay? And then at that point, you're good. Now all we have to do now at this point is just to put the cover back on. So we can do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this over like so. Just like that. You're just reversing the process. You got your clips. Okay, we got our other clip right here, another one right there, and you're going to push these, these little guys through, they just, they just go right through the hole there like that. Now the one thing I did forget guys, is you have to make sure that you get your emergency handle through there, so we need to pull this loose again a little bit. Just in case you don't want to not have that handle coming through, just in case you ever get stuck in your trunk. Just like that. All right. That. That. These little guys up there like that too. That. Okay, and I think we got one right there. And I think we have one last one right there. It's like that, okay? All right, so now we've got that put back together. Now we can go ahead and just put our covers back on. Just snaps in place like so. And then we've got, we've got our little, our little handle right here. And it goes in like this. like that and let's see here speed this one right and then we've got our screw right here that goes into this end close the cover on it just like that and you're good okay so make sure you don't lose your your tools make sure you take your tools out of the trunk okay set them all down now you can close your trunk okay all right now the very last thing that we've got to do is we're going to put our actual spoiler itself our our big winglet. So we've got a winglet here that goes on just like so and it'll just curve around just like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to it comes with the screws we're just gonna start the screws Let's see here. There we go. so we're gonna start in the middle work our way out. up here in a minute once we get them all started. Just like that. Okay. All right guys, now that we've got the screws started, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start right here in the middle, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and snug these up like that. Okay, let's go this direction. Okay. 
Okay. Come back to this one. I'm just trying to stay balanced. It's a matter of preference, guys. You can do it however you guys want, but I just like to do it from the center out. All right, now guys, that's exactly how it's done. You can see that's what it looks like. It's really easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but uh, you know, it looks, to me, it looks really nice. It makes the card look way more aggressive than it was before. Um, so, so anyway, um, there you have it. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video today, please give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. It really helps uh, the channel when you subscribe to the channel. It helps us with our vendors. It helps us with the algorithm to be able to uh, get people to come to our channel more. Um, also helps me a lot with the vendors as they we get more subscribers, they're more amped to be able to do uh, more for us. And that way I can do more for you guys to show you what we're doing. So anyway, um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. And other than that, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it today. And um, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.